A lot of us are seeking change at the moment, whether it's a new job, a new relationship or a new hairstyle. So it's really important to know that it's never too late to change and to succeed at something new. Well, this Sunday, my guest has done just that. He started modeling with Upfront in his 50s and has also professionally changed his career from aviation to hospitality. Everybody, please welcome my friend, Noel Ryan to Sunday Girl. Sunday Girl. Noel. Hello, Hello Orla. Lovely to see you again. How are you? We're pals. You don't have to be yes, too, you don't have to, too far. <laughs> you don't have to be too no far with me. You're grand. My goodness. How long do we know each other? Uh, over 20 years. Over 20 if years. If not more. Can you remember when we met first? I do. I remember we met through the aviation industry and I remember you asked me to go modelling for you. That's right. So I think from my recollection is we kind of met about 20 years ago. ago. We worked on a number of really exciting projects together over the years. And I remember about, oh my God, more than 10 years ago, yeah. kind of really spotting your own um, qualities in terms of how well you interact with people. And I remember saying, because we were running Fashion Week at the time. That's right. And I remember going, the man we need is right here, right <laughs> now. We need no oh, Ryan. Oh. And so you were brought in then to kind of liaise with everybody backstage, to manage front of house for us on yes. the night. And my God, you just excelled at it. And then I had this thought, I was like, my gosh, he's so good in front of the camera too. I said, I wonder if I ask Noel to model for me, what will he say? And because the whole profile of modeling has changed so much now, in that, you know, the, the modeling world is into relatability and diversity and celebrates age, I said, you know, Noel Ryan would be perfect. And I picked up the phone and I said, hey, Noel, would you like to model for me on RT? <laughs> and most people would actually go, oh, they'd have a little kind of an, an internal wobble. But you just said to me, I'd love to. No problem, Orla. And can you remember, can you I, remember your first I show in RT? I very, remember it very well. I remember driving to Cork and I remember texting you to say, Orla, I'm leaving for Cork now. I was so conscious of being on time and stuff um, and to be there on time, especially because it was RT. Um, and I remember modeling with uh, Glenn Williamson, uh, David Niblock. Uh, Pat Mulcahy and Shane Hayes in Cork and they were Fantastic so good models. to me. Great Fantastic models. models. And we had a great day. I really, really I think you were it. with Maria Kelly, the stylist that day, That's weren't correct. you? That's Maria Kelly was yeah. the stylist. She was really good as well. And we had great fun and a little bit nervous. I wasn't too sure because I hadn't done it before. But I was excited at the same time to do something different. Uh, and because we were good pals, I was delighted to help you out as well. And took to it like a duck to water. Like really, a duck to water because really I remember I was at a meeting and I remember Jeffrey trying to get out of the meeting so I could run home and watch <laughs> you on the telly. And you came on at about, oh, I think it was about 20 past four. Yes. And out you came and you did the turn and everything. And I watched you and you were just so cool and confident. And oh, wow, I was proud to represent you. Yeah, no, it was yeah. good. It was a great yeah. day. And you look at then, the client was delighted with you. Yes. And the stylist, Maria, was delighted with you. Yeah. And then you started getting ongoing bookings. bookings. So you kind of went from never been on television or modeling to suddenly yes. <laughs> appearing on, you know, Ireland's most watched afternoon yes. program yeah. and confidently modeling for brands. Yeah. It was fantastic. It was. Yeah. It's a great yeah. confidence builder, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't want to be shy doing it. And it, it does help your confidence mm -hmm. to go and have to do it or whatever. And step get you to step out of your comfort zone. But you also and learned very quickly, you know, how to do what we call the turn, which means you go out and you do a turn. Yes. And also how to show the clothes really well. Yes. How to show, you know, the internal lining of a jacket or how to show the trousers. Yeah. And so how to, because I always say to models, you're not there to show yourself. You're there to show the clothes so that people buy the clothes and can relate to you in the clothes. Yes. And I really think, you know, yeah. that's what you did so well. But that was the training that you gave us in fairness. You did train us very well and the other models would have shown me different things as well. Dave and, and Glenn. Yeah, I always think the great things. thing is that models are the yeah. best trainers yeah. really because Definitely. they actually do it. Yeah. And they can show you the little kind of tricks and, you know, everything that Definitely. makes it look so seamless <laughs> on screen. And then after television, of course, you went on and you did an awful lot of commercial work. 
So you've done commercial modelling shoots as well? I would. I've done quite a few with yourself ads again. as well for and hospitality. Yeah, the ads yeah. with various um, industries, or various companies and international companies as well. We've done loads of shoots and stuff like that. And it was great. It was all experience. And again, it's a great confidence builder. And you, you learn the trade. You learn yeah. how to pose in different ways, whatever, and how to change up shots and make it all look very natural and stuff like that. Um, but it was good. Really, really enjoyed it. And, and it's something you learned do. in your 50s? Yes. Yeah, Definitely. because it's funny, we did a casting in Cork there about a week ago and some of the fabulous talent that we saw in the day, some of them would come in and they'd sit down in front of us and they'd go, listen, I'm probably too old to be here, but I said I'd come in anyway. And we would always say back, no, no. you are not. You are, there's no such thing. Like, no. That is gone now. You are never, never too, too old. Never. And so you need to kind of get that out of your head. And as Definitely. you said earlier to me, yes. age is but a number. number. I mean, it's how you feel and it's how you interact with people that makes you so definitely. successful. Age is definitely a number. Um, I would definitely firmly believe that, but it's important to try something different at mm -hmm. any age at all. Um, what I do have with the modeling is you do need to look after yourself. You need to kind of eat healthy and get plenty of sleep and drink loads of water, just the basic stuff. But it does help and it does work when you do all of those things because if you're on camera, on TV mm -hmm. or doing a shoot, you just need to look your best. And you, when you look your best, you feel better anyway and you'll perform better and you'll do a good job. And of course you're so, a swimmer, it's something else you took up. Yes, I took up... Uh, and not just a regular swimmer, it doesn't no. go to the pool, I mean you, you swim... I do open water swimming. <laughs> open uh, water every day. for miles. Yeah. Do you do it every day? I do it every day. Oh uh, my, okay. I'm in a challenge okay. at the moment and that is I, my aim is to swim for 365 consecutive days. Um, and at the moment I'm on day 157. But again, it's great for training, great for your mind. Mm -hmm. um, and what do they say? Me. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what, and it's it brilliant. does. It helps free the mind. And like, I'm a person who loves going walking. Yeah. I did go swimming a lot this summer because it was such. First of all, the water temperature was so high. Was it was fantastic, yeah. and the weather was so good. Mm -hmm. And exactly what you used to always say to me is like when you walk into the water, there's so much to focus on that, you forget about all your problems. Literally. And you come out and you feel like a better person. Totally you refreshed. It's very totally. relaxing. Yeah. Just yeah. four years ago, I took it up, happened to me, somebody in the schoolyard, dropping the kids to school, uh, Fiona Mullins, a good friend of mine, and she said, you must come and swim with us some Sunday. So I said, fine, I would. And I went out, tried it the first day, it was cold. This was late October, it was cold. And I said, never again, I'm not doing that again. Met her in the car park and she said, come back next week and we'll give it a go again came back the following week and I've been swimming ever since. And it Absolutely. definitely increased definitely the fitness increase, and everything. Definitely yeah, increased the definitely. fitness. And during COVID, so many people have taken to swimming, which is great. Mm -hmm. It's great to see people get out, get fit and do something they love. And there's a great camaraderie with the people you'll swim with and you'll, you'll make a whole load of new friends, yeah. which is very, which is also important as which well. Which is, yeah, I think it's really and important. There's a great social aspect. To and of course, swimming. professionally, we met in aviation, as you said, yes. when you were working in aviation. And then in the last few years, you've switched into a completely new area. You've gone into hospitality. And well, I mean, it's, I, I think when I meet you in the job that it so suits you. It's like Thank you. you were born to do it. Yeah. But what I'm going to tell everybody is that when <laughs> Noel was working in aviation, he used to dazzle me with all the different stars he used to meet. <laughs> and he has brought that star appeal into hospitality with him. So are you going to yeah. share your, your, your current star crush? Yeah. <laughs> my, current, my current star crush is Olivia Coleman uh, from Netflix, The Queen. Absolutely. And fantastic in Fleabag as well. lady. Yeah. Brilliant in Fleabag. A lovely lady. Um, and I've been very lucky to meet all these lovely people and they're lovely, they're really, really nice. Some people are afraid of these people because they're movie stars or famous or for whatever reason. But they're just normal people like you and I, mm -hmm. Orla, and, mm -hmm. and they, they will chat away normally. And that's what they love people to go up and say, hello, how are you? And are you enjoying your sit? Just, just normal conversation. Um, and they're really, really good. Olivia Coleman was lovely to meet, whatever. I've met Tom Jones, um, Jane Seymour. Um, and then Annie Leibovitz, who's a famous Vogue photographer for Vogue. So I'd love to have Lovely, her. lovely lady, yeah, really nice. Too, she was yeah. doing a photo shoot below in Dingle, I believe. Um, Westlife, I had to meet them, uh, Ronan Keating. Um, 
uh, loads of other people as well that we just down to yeah hold like, I, mean, I remember seeing your, your wall of fame a, yeah. Nolan all of these stars and of course our famous Don O'Neill from Belly and of course Don Sean Passon yeah. for, back and forth all the time flying great back friend and forth to New York good friend of both great of us um, um, Michael Fassbender lovely lovely guy really really nice and very very warm and welcoming and dying to have a chat and very whatever. proud of his Kerry heritage oh very much so very very proud of Kerry and would always speak highly of it whenever he, he's abroad and promoting it when he's away so Noel I mean you just exude a kind of a positivity and a happiness no wonder they all want to chat <laughs> sure. to you but look I think your story is a story of somebody who has you know gone through life always mm. sees the opportunities as they've come along yeah. and is not afraid of the big change is not afraid of the word change no. so people now watching this at home who are kind of saying to themselves look I think it's time for change or I think it's time that I need to challenge myself and try something new what advice would you give them well the first bit of advice I would give you don't be afraid of the change definitely because we all have a big fear of what if and what if I don't do this or what if that so my advice is literally don't be afraid of it just take that leap but research what you kind of want to go into and once you know that it's something you really want to do or to try then just go for it give it your best and that is the best bit of advice i can go for just take that leap of faith and give it your best shot so believe in yourself believe in yourself definitely no ryan thank you thank you for that and thank you for joining all of us here on sunday girl and from both of us we wish you an inspirational and great week Thank mm-hmm. you.